a new vlog. Okay, so welcome back to new vlog. Uh, I wanted to show you my skin routine at night. So my skin routine is often very different from seasons. So in the winter time, I am a lot about like just trying to take care of my skin barrier because the air is so dry and cold. Uh, you crack up and you just try to have some glow in the winter time. Summertime, I try not to get sunburned and give my skin a lot of hydration. And it's also a time where I am more actually into maybe exfoliate a little bit just because uh, I have better skin in the summer because I have a lot of eczema that can make makeup and stuff very hard. But now I have great skin because that eczema is really nice with summer weather, uh, salt water and just like sun in general. Now I'm wearing foundation. It's been there the entire day. So let's get rid of that. But if I had eye makeup on, I would use uh, this eye makeup remover. And it's just like a genius product to remove eye makeup because uh, everything is gone and it's for sensitive skin and it doesn't hurt. I'm using something from the same brand. It is the Biosensible. It's this one. It's a lotion. It works as a pre-cleanse. So I use it on a cotton pad and just gently go over my entire face. So then I'm going in with something from also the same brand. It is the Light U. It's a vegetal cleansing milk. Looks like this. Just think all the cleansing products to this brand is just amazing because they're so, so gentle and I have so sensitive skin. I react to almost everything. And these are just very kind to my skin. Go. So I put this on dry skin. And then we're gonna rinse it off. Okay, so the first step I do is that I use the Sensai Absolute Silk Micro Mousse Treatment. Just to prep my skin and I love to use a toner um, in the daytime, but in the nighttime I just need more hydration and this is just helping to get a lot of products sink into the skin. All right, so here is the difference. If my skin doesn't need anything, I use the Circular Hydration Serum from Dermalogica. If my skin needs a little bit exfoliation uh, throughout the night, I use the Ordinary Lactis Lactic Acid 10%. So this one, I just love lactic acid just because it's very gentle to my skin and it's very sensitive and it doesn't give me any breakouts and it just makes my skin smooth so right now that's the only problem on my skin so we're gonna go in with the hydration serum and we also have some different options on my my night cream um, so this is what I usually do if I want an active cream that can help me to do something to my skin. I use the Power Bright Overnight Cream. It's a nicely dark spot fader from Dermalogica. Um, this one is actually for pigment pigmented skin, uh, but I just love the texture. I love that it's a cream and it feels like a night cream. And as you know, like I am so, so, so conscious on what I put on my skin because I'm scared of everything. Uh, that's also like why I made my own brand so I could know all the ingredients. Um, but this one I really like if I just need to feel like I have a night cream. No, just like if I feel like I need to do something to my skin and if I feel a little bit pigmented of the sun or just like want an active night cream without um, without like having, having a peeling or exfoliating. Uh, if my skin is very stressed, if it's um, if I've been traveling a lot or 
you know like having breakouts or my skin is just like very dry and it's sensitive and it doesn't like want me to apply all of my skin routine I use this Aven uh, Circle Fate cream for sensitive and irritated skin so that's really nice to just like set my skin back to where it was supposed to be and if my skin is just perfect and I don't want any active ingredients or anything huge to happen to my skin I use Natalie Rainy um, it's a mild face cream it's 98% natural ingredients and I think the most important thing to know about this cream is that it doesn't do anything to your skin it's just there to like support your skin barrier uh, have a normal skin I think that people often have a lot of creams in their bathroom that has a purpose and this one is just a cream that's just a cream when you you know like you don't need exfoliation you don't need like something that takes away your pigmentation <laughs> or you don't need any active ingredients just like if you just want to let your skin be alone and just like protect the skin barrier this is the cream uh, because I think this is a very misunderstood pr product because it's not supposed to do anything else than just protect the skin as it is right now and that's an amazing product to have just like I love to use this when my skin is just it's just perfect and I don't need to mess around when my skin is good that's of course rainy But if I do wear an eye cream, it is this inside eye contour, as you can see it, it's well used. Then I go in with my Silk Lip Balm, it's my latest Natalie product. And it was actually a girl asking me the other day why, if we could produce this lip balm in like a lip balm size, <laughs> so she could not put her finger in it because she thought it was just very unhygienic. Well, it's a reason why this box is this huge because I produced this one, so you could do this as you can. You can see it. I have done it, but it's mainly to do this. This. And that's what I do the entire day. I just. And if you want to put your finger on after, you can. But it's such an amazing lip balm. Like, if you have not tried that lip balm, you're gonna buy my. like all my products because you're gonna be amazed. Last but not least, I am still wearing this X Slash Pro. Like, I did a collaboration with them maybe like six years ago. While I'm still here, <laughs> using it every single day. So I put it on my lash line underneath. I don't know, people say like it's not good for your eyes, blah blah, blah. but it's good for my lashes. <laughs> and these lashes. So I just can't stop using it. I feel like it's a lot because I could put on even more products. Um, but that's my skin routine right now and I hope you like this video. I'll do a morning routine in my next video, I think. So if you didn't see it on Instagram, me and Tio agreed on not doing the Q&A right now just because I want him to feel comfortable and not like being pushed out on YouTube and I think like the Franz video was his first time actually talking to the camera and like being on a vlog. So I don't want to push him, it was actually me saying, maybe we should wait. So, um, we'll do it another time. But yeah, it's gonna be my daytime skin routine instead. Talk to you soon.